That's me and Dave. We're in Giles County today. Yep, first trip, well, second trip of the year. We come down on Velvet Hunt. Kind of our little uh, home away from home, our little easy hunting. Yeah, get, yeah easier we're, than the mountain. Yeah, we're sitting here in one of our favorite blinds down here on the farm. We call it the Taj Mahal. We featured this blind in the past, basically because <clears throat> if you check out mine, Dave, We've got minivan seats in here. We've got full recline, lumbar support, uh, you name it, we've got it. Now the only drawback is we've got a new sunroof. We've got a we've got a sunroof. Like Dave said. We got some rain moving in this evening. We're gonna hunt this blind, but uh, not sure if the blind will hold out the rain. We do have a roll of duct tape. Trying to spot some holes, but that's a pretty big hole. But uh, anyway, we're getting settled in. Try that daylight. Uh, got a food plot planted out right in front of this blind. It's probably what day about 20 yards wide by uh, 100 yards long, roughly. Yeah, I'd say roughly. And uh, we just plant a mixture in here of uh, white and red clover, um, winter wheat. Uh, Austrian winter peas, just a little bit of everything in it's deer like and stroll it out. And we've uh, had a game camera on our exclusionary fence in this field, but only been out three days. So, and Dave's getting ready to check it out, see if we can uh, have any shooters on here. We'll try to share what we got with you. But hang with us, we should have some rut going on. Uh, my sister said they've been laying down some scrape sign this week. So uh, you guys know the action could happen at any time. But uh, we're going to look at this card and wait for a shooter to come by.
Uh, no. Yeah. Wire resistant. Waterproof and water resistant is two flags. If it don't get too hot and our tape pop off, it might be all right this evening. I and think that's a pretty good patch job right yeah, there, if I say yeah. so myself. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. We're getting back in the woods. We swapped it up a little bit today. We have been hunting over food plots and haven't been seeing much deer. Uh, we're probably still in the woods, mostly on the white oaks while they're going to last. So we moved in the woods this evening. And... Uh, I'm in a big holla here that's uh, about 75 yards away from a uh, thicket. Got a pretty good trail down below me that deer's been using. And uh, we're just gonna sit here and hunt this holla. We got some white oaks across the holla there that I can shoot to. But uh, getting in here right about three hours of set before dark. <laughs> I left the longbow back at the truck. I'm just mother loading right now. Um, David, he's in a holla back behind me, uh, same type deal. So we're just kind of fanning out these hollas. Both of them have pretty good sign in them. And hopefully we can catch these deer staging up before they move out into plots. Most of them have been hitting them at night time anyway. So we'll sit in here and uh, do a little rattling, a little grunting. We uh, have seen some buck, uh, we have seen some red activity. We did grind a seven pointer in earlier, but we didn't want to shoot at him. That was the first morning we were here. So, uh, gonna do a little rattling, a little grunting. See if we can tie something, come check it out. For you guys out there that uh, like, to read westerns. Like, like to read westerns, may we suggest Louis L'Amour. Probably one of the best western writers out there. Great little small books for pastime. When the deer ain't moving, grab a Louis L'Amour. I don't think you can go wrong, Dave. But uh, I've got my book here too. the sackets so uh <clears throat> but hopefully we'll look up from reading a, a paragraph or two and look up and see a shooter buck that's the plan today well guys we got about 20 minutes for dark maybe 15 we just heard uh probably swag or but ed's buddy they're hunting together out from us just heard a shot over there he was kind of looking for some meat and so uh could have killed a doe, missed a doe, big buck. We don't know yet. Maybe it's a size The sky's the limit. He was swagging his Yeah. Head. When he's wanting meat, he's going after me. Just let her come on out. She won't run, I don't think. I don't see her. Yeah, I see her now. Did you get her? Well, we're down here helping Dad and Bill. 
I think they done packed up and killed. So, uh, been a pretty easy track job falling down the rack here, blood everywhere. Should be there. I got you some meat, though. That's what he's yeah, after. Yeah, he's after that's the. It. That's he's I'm after good deer meat, and that's what makes the best. Yep. Nice, nice size doe. How's that? How's that duct tape holding him up? Oh, good. That give you more traction on these heel sides. I was telling Meg, I said, I need a new pair of boots, man. She'll probably say, let's go get with it. I've had this thing for 20 years. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Me and Dave's back at it. This is our last morning of our Giles County hunt. We're hunting a new spot, and it's uh, overlooking a... It's supposed to be a wheat field. It's not come up very well. <clears throat> but we're sitting in a bunch of oaks too in the woods back behind us. So uh we got Dave kinda in the hot seat right now. I'm in kind of the rear stand facing the woods. It's got uh, it's got quite a few white oaks in it up on this ridge top. So uh plan is if a pretty pretty good buck comes through, we're gonna blast it. And if a doe comes through, uh I brought the old longbow with me. I will try to harvest one with that if we can get one close enough. So, uh, should be a good morning. Probably the coolest morning we've had. Winds are calm. It's been windy this whole trip. So, hopefully we can get some deer movement going here the last day.
Thing we let one go so he can grow. Right there. <clears throat> decent. I, I, I deemed it a decent, decent little eight pointer. Young, two and a half year old eight pointer. But it makes you awful excited to yeah. rattle one in. Has real good potential. So we come down out of stand. And <clears throat> since we had some luck rattling that one up, huh? I'm gonna drop down in this hollow here. To, Before we head back to Cape Town. Right. We're gonna do one rattling session and hope to draw something in good enough to shoot here. If not, we'll see you next time. That's right.